Kilmarnock having blown their chance of a top six finish, we're looking to bounce back from that disappointment at home to Hearts and looking to extend an eight match unbeaten run against the Tank Castle team. Here's how that one went at Rugby Park with Jonathan Sutherland. A stunning pass from Ryan Stevenson sliced Kilmarnock open right at the off in this one. Michael Ngu turned inside Momo Sissoko. John Sutton tapped home. Hearts 1-0 up in the fourth minute. Sissoko only starts work ten minutes after kickoff. The scathing critique from Kilmarnock manager Kenny Shields. It's just not been going Kilmarnock's way of late after they blew their chance of a top six finish. James Fowler's effort deflecting off Andy Webster's backside about the best they could muster in the first half. In the second, Hart certainly initially remained in the ascendancy. Jamie Walker's thrusting run ending with him spread-eagled in the box following this challenge from Sissoko. Ryan Stevenson's penalty was well struck but well saved by Cammy Bell who also stopped the follow-up from Jason Holt. And it was Holt's pass that almost led to another Hart's penalty. Jamie Walker again going down in the box, this time under challenge from Ryan O'Leary. This time referee Callum Murray decided no penalty. 18-year-old Dale Carrick should have made it 2-0 to Hearts. Instead, he put it wide and took a sore one between the legs, courtesy of Cammy Bell's knee. At the other end, Craig Johnston's cross got a slight touch from Danny Wilson, just enough to put off Chris Boyd. Just as it was starting to look like Hearts might actually pick up only their second away win of the season, Kilmarnock ramped up the pressure. The ball struck the hand of Kevin McHattie, but the Kilmarnock complaints fell on deaf ears. And the home side gave it one more go. Fowler's long ball knocked on by Sissoko, and it found the ever-dangerous boy, but Jamie McDonald pulled off the save. The handball shout went Hearts' way, and so did the final score.